Hi there, how is this going today? I hope everything is going well for you. Today, I am going to teach you how to start speaking English. Especially, this video is made for elementary students who have just started learning this or those who have been learning it for a few months or can be years or can be a few years of learning this. And they complain that why I can't speak English at all even though I have been learning it for two years or for two years and a half or for three years they mean they have been learning this in the were in grade seven and in grade eight and until they were uh, until they are in grade nine but they still can't speak English at all. So why? Okay, so now this is the video that I'm going to show this problem for you. I'm going to show this challenge for you. This is because you are sometimes you are afraid of speaking or sometimes you are afraid of making the mistake. So now let's get started with this simple step of picking this by explaining the meaning of the word. So let's get started. Tập chân sơ mua dùng nốt con. Đâu là toàn ta hai đấy mà nó chưa kịp rằng để ta toàn xong. Tôi bây giờ đi vào phía nam, phía nam mới khó. Còn mà khai mà khai nhớ nào thì ở ta sơ cái này rất là khó. Như cái ta này pram thì còn môi, nó tìm được phi thì còn bay cho tới đây là quá chấp đam tìm bơ thì còn bay đó tìm bố này là tìm nhịp sầm lấy tiền ở trên dây tuần sầm ta hại đấy ok chắc ngày đi vì đã ôn đến cái thua sầm rạp ôn ôn là bay riêng nó là bay riêng thì chim sầm lấy tam giờ cá mình vô ăn từ đây là bỏ biển chim sầm lấy ở cả lấy những mương biển này khá là an cái sân biển này an thoáng a doctor a doctor biển này cứ a chef a chef a policeman a policeman, a barber, a barber, a waiter, a waiter, a waiter, a waiter, a barber, a policeman, a chef, a doctor. Okay, now when you get the human nature, come on, we're going to check the human nature. Check the human nature, come on. Just when you check the human nature, come on. You go to the real one, can't be done, don't you feel? Rin bình dương nên chia bình dương khai khai tới Nhưng chấm dưới nâng ai chân dưới sao lên được luôn này Dưới nâng hát vì là cả này dưới hát dưới sao lên tới Dưới thua lọt mọt Cả này thua lọt mọt tới cứ Dưới ai chắc bà 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 nó tập bà cả này Dưới ai chắc bà đau này dưới bà nó Thì ông biết là doctor Ở doctor dưới bà đang là cựu bè này Dưới bà đang là cựu Cựu bè này cựu Cựu chìa bình định Nhưng chấm Bà dưới nâng bình dương nên chia sao lên You can start by saying this Ok Chúng ta biết là ai chúng ta nuôi dưỡng bán nào, xong ra mình nuôi, cứ dưỡng cua được ra là chiếc bật nón Bà tẹo tơ là cam vô lưu, vì mốc bật bò, nát tẹo tơ là mình nuôi thua ở quầy với quầy muối Dưỡng cua tẹp xoay tẹp ra là chiếc bật nón, hù, nát là chiếc bật nón hù Đó dưỡng chạp bật nón thì là đọc chứa, nhưng ra đã đủ bếp, ở chef, trọng phẩu, ở policeman, ở lít, ở barber, dưỡng cả xã hành, ở quầy chất, bà nè bọc ra, nè rút tổng như thế Nhưng chứ, dưới ai bắt đầu là việc hút hay dưới chắc bắt đầu là bắt đầu là bắt đầu It's It's A person Nhưng bắt đầu là việc là it's a person Rồi gặp it's someone Right? It's a person or it's a someone Hù Nè, việc là chờ chào mặt chúa Tụp chúa chúng ta là chú pronoun Hù Nhưng chứ, it's a person who Rồi gặp it's someone who Làm bây giờ, a doctor Chứ là đọc trái bàn cục bè, chứ bây giờ mình vô tới thứ Ở đọc trời Nào It's someone or it's a person Who It's a person who work in a hospital Or it's a person who have six people It's a person who have six people Chứ anh chị thấy It's a person who have six people Và này là chia mà nó mình nét Thế còn chia mà nó mình nét này đó Thua cao một chiếc bè And have six people hay là chú ý để chúng ta nhớ như anh Điều thứ hai là Start speaking simple phrases or start speaking simple sentences with just simple words Simple A doctor is a person who One Who work Who works in a hospital and have simple Or it's a person who have 
patient, and the patient, the patient that you mean, you know, are six people. Who helps with S is the person, the person who helps six people, or you can say a pay. Patient, sick people or patients. Okay. Again, a doctor. It's a person who has six people. It's a person who has six people. You can say a doctor is a person who has six people, or a doctor is someone who works in the hospital and has six people. Okay, check me because you think you need to นี่ยิงจับดาวเด็กการปนจุลปิดนะจับดาวปีการบ่ไตรเอ่ออัมพีการงี้หรือก็ปนจุลอัมพีอัดเลยนี่ปีเต้คือยังอาจยิงเอา
it's a person or it's someone, right? It's a person or it's someone who sells food and drink. You can say who sells food and drink in a restaurant. Same one. A waiter is someone who sells food and drink in a restaurant. Okay. Okay, mình giang tiếp. Pram biển ấy cứ đặt tàu nâng places, đặt tàu tiền lại. Chấm và đặt tàu tiền lại. Nhưng ai chỗ là short của biển hả? Where? Where? Nhưng mà đâu là biển là it's where. It's where or it's a place where or it's where. Cái này it's where or it's a place where. Okay. Ở tiêu biển thì muốn biển là hospital. Nhớ nè. Hospital. Hospital. Thì biển cứ barber shop. Barber shop. Vậy cứ school. School. Muốn cứ zoo. Zoo. Thì bạn cứ market. Market. Ok. Chứ như ai vô là mày. Lớ tiêu là hospital. Ở hospital thì nó là một tí bệnh. Chứ một tí bệnh chỉ có lấy những đại trường ngữ. Tên tôi cảm xe bạn. Chỉ có lấy những lúc bé tôi cảm. Chứ như ai có đâu nữa. It's where. Because a hospital. Hospital. What does hospital mean? Hospital. It's where the doctor works, or it's where the patients, or it's where six people go to receive treatment. Okay, so we can say hospital. It's where six people go and receive treatment. The same treatment. Okay, you can say um, hospital. It's where sick people go and receive treatment. Or uh, hospital. It's where it's where the doctors work. Or you can say it's a place where. Or it's where you can say it's where. Or it's a place where. Okay, doesn't matter. It's okay. They can be both used. It's where or it's a place where. Okay, it's where it's place where six people go and receive treatment. Cho mà người ta chỉ có lại mũi đa, mà được chứ ai được không? Anh em chỉ mới tới tập tôi cao chiến chiều bạn. Giờ mà đoạn tiếp ở hospital, it's where a doctor works or it's where six people go and receive treatment. Okay, number two is barber shop. Barber shop trong Prada hàng cà sọc, anh chắc bà hàng cà sọc mà đợi mày. You can say it's a place where or it's where you go and get a haircut. It's where you go and get a haircut. It's where you go and get a haircut. Okay. So you can say it's where or it's a place. You can say it's a place where. But don't be too, too long. Uh, to avoid being long, you can say it's where. Don't just say it's a place where, right? But if you want to be longer, you can say it's a place where you go go to have a hair a haircut. Oh, okay, it's a place where you go to have a haircut, or it's a place where you go and get a haircut and get a haircut. It's a place where you go to have a haircut, or it's a place where you get your haircut, right? It's a place where you get a haircut. It's called a barber shop. A barber shop. And you sometimes go to the barber shop. Okay, usually people go to the barber shop once a month or twice a month. It depend on it depend on how fast uh, their hair grow. Okay, and make the word school. School. It's simple to explain the word school. So what does school mean? School. Just sometimes say, or you always say, I go to school every morning and every afternoon. So what does school mean? School. School. You press a line. What press? We use the usual example. We use the word. School. You start with. It's a place where, or it's where, it's where you go to study, or it's where student go and start. Let's start it. Okay. So it's where. It's where. Student. 
Or you can say, each real student come to meet their teacher. Or you can say, each real student come to meet their teacher. Or each real student go to start to study. Or each real student and teacher are teaching and learn, learning. So, schools, each real student go and study. Go and study with their teach with their teacher, right? It's where students go and study with their teacher. You can say with their teacher or to be short, you can say it's where students go and study. It's where students go and study. And then school it's where students go and study. Okay, people talk a bit of zoo. Zoo. What does zoo mean? I should know that you sometimes say I like going to the zoo at the weekend. Just leave. In Takao province, there is a famous zoo. It is called Tamao Mountain Zoo. So, what does zoo mean? Okay, zoo you play zoo san. Can zoo san mean san to round the dino? Check your time, my zoo. So, why do you go to zoo? Or what the main purpose that you want to visit the zoo? Okay, a zoo. A zoo is a place, or a zoo is where a zoo, a place. Or uh, where or it's a place uh, where or you can say it's where okay you can say it's a place where or it's where so a zoo it's where you can visit many wild animals or a zoo it's a place where many wild animals are kept okay zoo it's where many wild animals are, can, are kept are kept are what? are kept for visit or I guess for visit A zoo, it's where many wild animals are kept for a visit. A zoo, it's where many wild animals are kept for a visit. Okay, check it out. A zoo, so we check a line. We will start play the round robin. The start to some rock. Okay, some rock. A zoo, it's where a zoo, it's where many people go to see the wild animal or many kinds of wild animals. A zoo. It's where many people go to visit different kinds of wild animals. And the last one, the word market. Market. Just listen to your mother. My mother go to the market. My mother go to the market every morning to buy some food for breakfast and for our meal. Okay, she can say for our meal. Okay, so what does market mean? So market is a sign. Okay, so market is where you go to buy something. It's easy. It's where you go to buy some things. It's where people go and buy things they want. Okay, so market. It's where. It's where people go and buy buy things they want. Market. It's where people go and buy things they want. It's where people go and buy things they want. It's market. It's easy. So again, hospital. It's where sick people go and receive treatment. Barber shop. It's a place where you go and get a haircut. And school. It's where students go and study. Or it's where students go to meet their teacher. Uh, in the classrooms, you can say like this. A zoo is where many wild animals are kept for a visit. Uh, a market is where people go and buy things they want. Okay, easy. Try practice. If you practice, you can be hungry, hungry, thirsty, thirsty, short, short. Right, 
right, hot, hot, get, hungry, thirsty, short, right, hot. Okay, the five words are all additive. Okay, additive. So how can you explain the word as additive? Okay, just now I explain the additive band. You can probably just say the name. I probably just say the name. Or you can probably tell me a lot of words. Do you know? Let's be hungry. Hungry. Get down. Wrong. Hungry. Hungry. Wrong. What does hungry mean? Come on. Yeah. Hungry means clear. Okay, clear. So you say that it's a feeling. It's a it's a feeling. Get down. Wrong. You pronounce the feeling. It's a feeling. So hungry. It's a feeling when when what? When you are hungry, what do you need? You need food. Very good. So, the word hungry. Hungry means it's a feeling when you need you need food. Very good. So, hungry is a feeling when you need food. Or, hungry is a feeling when you haven't eaten food for long. Right? It's a feeling when you haven't eaten food for long. Or, it's a feeling when you need food. Okay. Uh, hungry. It's feeling. It's a feeling. You can begin with it's a feeling when you need a junk food or when you need food. Okay. It's a feeling when you need food to eat. Okay, so you need food to eat. So hungry. Hungry means it's a feeling when you need food to eat, right? When you need food to eat immediately. This is called hungry. Hungry is a feeling when you need food to eat immediately. Okay, and the word thirsty. Thirsty. What does thirsty mean? So thirsty mean thirsty mean thirsty. Thirsty. So it refers to the feeling as well. So you can say uh, you can you can start your sentence by saying thirsty. Mean it a feeling when you need what water, right? It's a feeling when you need water to drink, or it's a, a feeling when you need um, when you really need um, water. So such thing means it's a feeling. It's a feeling when you need. To drink water, you can say when you need to drink water. So thirsty mean it's a feeling when you need to drink water. When you drink water, mean you are thirsty. So if you are thirsty, you need to drink water. So again, the word thirsty mean it a feeling when you need to drink water immediately, no delay. Okay, next the word shot. Shot. So what does shot mean? The shot brand that clay. Just you know, in with a brand or that type of building or that type, we can turn to white clay. Just you know, for with a brand, just synonym. We call it antonym. Just shot means it's the opposite of law. You can say shot means it's the opposite of law. You can use antonym. It's the Opposite of of law, right? It's the opposite of law. So shot means it's the opposite of law. The opposite of law is shot. You can be one thing. Just like I try the antonym one. Can be one thing. Be one thing. Right, right. What does right mean? Okay, right. Just right at the end. We try to turn it. Just like I practice, practice antonym just now. It's the opposite of. It's the opposite of wrong, right? It's right. It's it's opposite of wrong. Okay. So it's the opposite of wrong is right. Or right is the opposite of wrong. Right or wrong, like like someone say, right or wrong. Okay. Right or wrong. So, right is the opposite of wrong. And the last one, the word hot. I refer to the high temperature. 
and you like hot weather or cold weather. So hot is an attitude and refer to the high temperature and the low temperature is called cold. So you can say it's the opposite. It's the opposite of cold. Okay, so hot is the opposite of cold. Okay, hungry is a feeling when you need urgent food. And thirsty is the feeling when you need urgent water to drink. Uh, short is the opposite of the word warm. Right is the opposite of the word wrong. And hot is the opposite of the word cold. Okay. So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope that after watching this video, you are going to be able or you will be able to practice explaining the word by using simple words to enhance or to improve your speaking. Don't be shy. Start practice speaking English from today on. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.